Hey you guys, happy Monday. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. If you're watching the replay, let me know in the comments with hashtag replay. This is a question of the day that I got from one of our new followers in the group and, or I guess I should say members. <laughs> one of the new members in the group and they wanna know how do you get your followers to stay, okay? So this question kind of goes hand in hand with the follow unfollow method on Instagram. So we can talk about both of those things today. So if you were one, okay, so I'm just going to like get straight to the point. You, in order for your followers to stay following your content, one, the person can't be a robot. Two, the content has to be relevant to them. And three, they need to find your content valuable. Okay. That's like point blank. You, there's like kind of no two ways to go about it. And if somebody unfollows you, it does not matter because they were never going to purchase from you in the first place. They were never interested in you. They were kind of just probably playing the follow and follow method. So what does this mean? Don't get so caught up in growing your following that you forget to grow your business. That is like a truth bomb. <laughs> Let that sink in. That's kind of like a truth bomb on this Monday. Don't get so caught up in how to grow your Instagram following that you forget that you're actually running a business. And I'm going Casper the Ghost. Great. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I hate when it does that. Okay. So I see way too many people getting so caught up in like one person following and unfollowing them because what they do is they think that because one person is, um, so let's just hypothetically say you get a follow on Instagram and you're like, oh, I have a new follower. That's probably somebody that's interested in me, which they're probably not. You really don't know. Right? So you go and you follow them back. And then what happens? They unfollow you, which is who really cares. Right? But you get so emotionally attached to that person because you thought it's like that quote where it's like, not everyone or like, don't expect people to treat you how you would treat them because not everyone has the same heart as you. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that you can't get so emotionally attached to that one new follower, one more like on a picture, one more comment on a picture than another one, because it's really has nothing to do with the end result, which is you getting more business. Okay. So how do you get your followers to stay? There's really only a couple ways to go about this. In order to get your followers to stay, you need to provide valuable content to them consistently and it needs to be better. It can't just be like, okay, I'm going to post consistently every single day with the same boring thing and that's it, right? And a really good way that I use even for myself, like if I'm wondering if like, you know, why are people maybe like unfollowing me if they even are, is I always look at my profile and the content that I'm pushing out there and I ask myself, am I pushing out content that I would like to follow? Okay. And you need to ask yourself that question. And that's like a lot of like real talk. Like you need to like really look at the, con at the content that you have, look at the content you've been pushing out and I'm not just saying like the last post, I'm saying like the last like 12 posts on if, especially if it's on Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest, any platform that you use for your business, look at your content and be like, okay, am I, would I follow myself? Okay. And I know that's really hard to like look at and like do it non, like do it in such like a non-biased way, but you have to look at your own content and be like, am I just like you know, going through the motions or am I actually pushing out content that's super valuable that other people will find valuable as well? Because if you're not pushing out valuable content consistently, there is no reason for people to follow you there. And there, that's probably why they are unfollowing you. So in order to get your followers to stay, you need to be consistently pushing out valuable content. They're probably leaving because you're not that or they're a robot. Those are like one of the two things. Okay. But just make sure that you don't get so caught up in the follow unfollow game that you don't focus on growing your business because that's the whole point, okay? Like, don't worry about one extra follower. Like, oh, I got five followers today and I lost 20 yesterday or however, like, you're thinking about it. It's like 
You need to focus on strategies, especially with social media that, that are actually going to grow your business. So it doesn't really matter how many likes or how many followers you have. If all of that equates to zero dollars, then who cares, right? Hey, Adolfo, how are you? So I'm kind of just finish, finishing up this rant and I have to like put my phone to the side because I was getting cast for the ghost face. But I'll just like wrap this up really quick because I don't want to like keep repeating myself. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But essentially what I'm saying is how do you keep your follower? How do you or how do you not lose followers? I even forget the question. It was like, how do you get your followers to stay? That's what it is. And it's like you get your followers to stay by providing content that they want to consume. You have to provide valuable content. You have to provide aesthetically pleasing content and you have to do it consistently because you are becoming a source of inspiration or teaching content to them. If you are only posting like once a week, once every couple days, and your content really isn't that exciting and the pictures aren't that pleasing to look at, especially on Instagram, there is no reason for people to follow you. So they are going to unfollow you, okay? So I already said this earlier in the video, but a question that you guys need to ask yourself is I want you guys looking on your Instagram profile. I want you guys to have like a real honest conversation with yourself. Go to your Instagram profile, look at it from like, you know, I guess bird's eye view, like when you see like all the pictures, but then go and look at what you're actually pushing out and be like, would I even follow myself on Instagram? I do that a lot. I look at all of my platforms and I'm like, am I pushing out content of value or am I just doing it because I need to be consistent? It's like, we need to remember that like not only can consistent consistency get repetitive and redundant, but we need to make sure that like we're still showing up because this is our passion and this is our purpose. Okay. So go to your Instagram, go to your Pinterest, go to your YouTube channel, go to your Facebook group, go wherever and just be like, look at the content you've been pushing out there. And it's like, would I even follow myself? Because if the answer is no, then that is probably a reason why your followers are leaving because you're not, you wouldn't even follow yourself. So why would they follow you? Okay. So I know that might be like a really harsh motivational Monday for you guys, but I just like, I'm just here to tell you how it is. Like, I don't, I'm not going to be like the cookie cutter person where it's like, this is like, you're doing great. It's like, this is what you guys need to hear. Okay. So in, for, and like back to like getting your followers to stay, you don't want people to stay on your profile or following you if they're never going to invest in you or your business or just like be a loyal follower or friend anyway because the number is just a vanity metric. And if it, if the person wasn't going to like give you any value regardless, and it's like, you don't need that person anyway. It's just like a fake number. That's what followers and likes are. It's like fake numbers that give us validation for like what we're pushing out there. But the val because of the algorithm, the validation isn't, it's not accurate because of the algorithm. Okay. You could be pushing on amazing content. You could be pushing on amazing pictures, but maybe you just started. And that's okay. You just have to keep doing what you are doing and don't focus on the followers, likes, comments, who's following you, who unfollowed you, all this stuff. It's like focus on the value that you're pushing out there for people to end up seeing you one day. And it takes time. It takes months. It takes years. It doesn't take a month. Like whoever told you that was lying. Okay. This stuff takes time. It takes time for your brand to get pushed out there and for people to repetitively see you and be like, oh, now I like this person. Oh, now I trust this person. Oh, now I know this person. No, like, and trust. Okay. So Sabrina says preach. Yeah. I'm so happy that you're loving this. So, um, yeah, that's really all that I have to say for today. If you're just hopping on now, go back and watch the replay because if I repeat myself again, I will like literally be repeating myself. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys love this video. And if you guys have any questions on social media, let me know in the comments. Um, Adolfo says, put out what you, what you want to get out. Genuine, valuable content will bring genuine followers. Exactly. And the people that don't like you, it's okay. You don't want everybody to like you because that's how you get like the fake hate, I guess, where you get people that'll just comment and you're just kind of like, that has nothing to do. It'll be like great photo and it has nothing to do with the picture that you're talking about. So that was like a really good point or comment to say Adolfo. So, um, yeah. 
that's really all that I have to say for today. Um, if you guys have any questions at all in regarding anything social media, let me know in the comments because your question could quite literally be the topic for the next live stream. So I hope you guys have an amazing Monday and I will see you guys tomorrow on the next live stream. Bye guys.